What is up? We're back. I'm Chris. And I'm Kelvin. And this is Arrested Development, two guys, two minutes, talking about Rust. And today, we are actually going to be talking about Rust and the 15 reasons why you might be seeing that no good tetanus causing stuff in your facility. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, the story of Rust and the two guys who talked about it in two minutes. It's Arrested Development. Now, just as a quick refresher, in case you haven't seen any of our videos yet, VCI stands for Vapor Corrosion Inhibitors. We're gonna be talking about it a lot in this episode. And the long story short of it is that it prevents rust from happening on metal parts in an enclosed area. Now we're gonna get cranking right away on the 15 reasons on why rust happens. But of course, two minutes on the clock first. Three, two, one. Reason number 15, your VCI is not close enough to your metal part. VCI can travel about a foot, so let's make sure that when we're putting those inner leaves in, a VCI paper or VCI poly, that we're making sure that we have an inner leaf about every 12 inches. And on to number 14, water variability. Basically, keep track of the pH levels within your water. If you're on a public water supply, that chlorine count can vary from day to day within the water. So keep track of it, and we recommend distilled or deionized water. Reason number 13 is training. Thankfully though, you have us. You're welcome, we're here for you. We wanna help you, we wanna tell you how to use VCI properly. So like and subscribe, smash that like button, 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 button. Make sure that you're using VCI properly and call us if you have any questions. We'll whip you up a VCI usage guide that's tailored to your process. Reason number 12 is the use of messy RP oils. Now, RP oils have been used for years to prevent rust, but they're not that effective. They're super messy and incredibly laborious to remove off of the metal part. So we recommend a water-based rust preventative spray such as Armor Dry Coat. I love Dry Coat. Reason number 11 acidic packaging material. That's right, that wood pallet that you're using, that corrugated sheet that you're using could be absorbing moisture and pumping acid back into the pack. We want nice spanking clean parts. Spanking clean parts. So make sure that you're separating those acidic packaging materials with a VCI poly bag or our VCI armor rack. And reason number 10 is that you are using the improper amount of VCI. On a smaller application, a VCI poly bag might do the trick, but in a huge application where you're shipping overseas, you might need a VCI poly bag and VCI paper. Reason number nine, you might be using a poor quality VCI. But remember, not all VCIs are created the same, which is why you need to be using Armor Protective Packaging's VCI. Our VCI kicks butt if you're using it. High five. If you're not, you need to hop on this train because we're not stopping. Toot, toot. And reason number eight is due to temperature. As the temperature increases 10 degrees Celsius, every time it does that, the rate at which rust is happening on your metal parts doubles every single time. Wow. Now reason number seven is a reason that's close to my heart, so we're gonna take the music down, we're gonna dim the lights a little bit, and we're gonna get serious. Don't let your parts get contaminated. I'm the kind of guy that likes to roll his cereal bag all the way down to make sure that it's sealed so it doesn't get stale. Are you letting your metal parts get stale? Are you? Is the forklift driving past and leaving the exhaust on your metal parts? That's contamination. The sixth reason is due to pH levels. Ferrous and non-ferrous metals and different types of metals within those categories require different pH levels to succeed and thrive in the world. Reason number five, that's right, we're in the top five, is improper usage. Maybe you're putting the box on the inside of the VCI bag instead of the VCI bag on the inside of the box. Reason number four that you're experiencing rust on your metal parts is due to condensation. That's right, we've talked about this many times on this show. The reason that rust happens in the first place is that because you've got oxygen, moisture, and a metal part. So if there's condensation on your metal part, you're gonna get rust. Our recommendation is to apply either VCI paper or armor desiccants with VCI. Reason number three is improper handling. That's right, if you aren't wearing gloves while you are touching the metal parts, then those nasty little oils from your skin could be getting on the metal part and causing rust. And remember, a pair of dirty gloves is actually worse than a pair of clean hands. So make sure that you're changing those gloves out every day. And the number two reason why you are experiencing rust on your metal parts is because you're not rinsing and drying those metal parts. Have you ever went to shake someone's hand and they're either a profuse of sweater, which is gross, or they just washed their hands and they didn't really dry them all the way so their hands are really moist and clammy? It's gross. And the same thing is true on metal parts. And we've made it. The number one reason why you are experiencing rust and corrosion in your facility is unclean working conditions. That's right. 
If your parts are dirty, the facility is dirty, your gloves are dirty, you're gonna see rust. It's that simple. Just metal shavings lying around can cause corrosion on your metal parts. This was Arrested Development. Two guys, two minutes talk about rust, and today, man, we talked about rust. And as you can see, the reasons that rust happens is a pretty exhaustive and overwhelming list. But if you have any questions at all about why rust happens, how to remove it, or how to prevent it on your metal parts, definitely shoot us an email or give us a call at info at armorvci.com, and our rust wizards will be able to cast the spell and provide all the resources that you could possibly dream of. So this was Arrested Development, and we'll see you in two weeks.